Hello everyone, I'm Lord Midas and welcome back to the Kraken Band. In the last episode, we had our first encounter with orcs down here, whereby we destroyed an orc infested cave and finished our contract that we had gotten from a noble house to do that, which was very nice. And we also found a replacement for our departed mercenary Fade the Bolt, who is now called Ludger. So he was ready for a level up in the last episode, let's go ahead and give him that. So Lancers definitely need some melee skill, ranged skill, and initiative. And since he has a talent in ranged skill, I think we're only going to increase it uh, for a few more levels and get it up to a decent score. And then afterwards put more of his levels into melee skill and fatigue or HP, etc. Whatever, get the better rolls because they don't really need that high of a ranged skill. Just, just a little bit of a decent amount is enough. For now, that's okay. And already we're going to give him bags and belts because that's what he needs as a utility character. And can we already give him more nets? We don't have any just yet. Alright, so we have to buy some more nets as well. Yeah, running out of them quite fast. Okay, but we're, we're gonna go directly to Vardalmark now. We have a lot of stuff to sell. And we've also been repairing some stuff. And I think we will get there by morning time, which is perfect. And uh, almost morning time here. D um, dawn, perfect. And let's see... Yeah, so these orc weapons are definitely going to get sold. We're going to sell the man splitter. We're not going to use it anytime soon. And this cudgel. I'm going to wait for this one to finish repairing, I think. Yeah. And we have a lot of morning stars. I think we can easily sell at least three of them. Sell the knife. Cruel falchion. Definitely going to sell that. And... Um, this armor, the patched mail shirt, the witch hunter's hat, and the pickaxe, both the short swords. I'm gonna wait for this berserk chain to get fully repaired before we sell it. And we're definitely gonna sell some of these poison glands because I think we're not gonna use them anytime soon and they're just taking up space in our inventory. And, um,. Mysterious herbs. I'm also going to sell these because we won't be using them anytime soon. Unhold's heart. So we're going to sell that. And these ancient wood because... And also the adrenaline gland for now. Knock zero brain. I think I'm going to keep that. Let's see what other things we can make out, make out of that when we have more of them. Also going to sell the furs. That gives us quite a lot of sum of uh, gold that we can use to hire some more mercenaries. We're going to sell these rusty mail coifs. And uh, the head chopper as well. We won't really use it. And the head splitter. These orc weapons are quite uh, good in terms of selling. And bundle of javelins. Throwing weapons. I'm not a huge fan of uh, throwing weapons. I'm, I've never really been able to use them quite effectively in battle. I think I'm going to sell them also off for now. And we're going to buy another stack of ammunition from this place. I'm not really going to buy any more tools. Let's check out the recruitment situation here. There are a couple of farmhands. We might be interested in them in terms of uh, hiring a tank, etc. Because we're starting to get a lot of injuries and uh, it would be nice to have people ready to replace people who get injured. Though we seem to be doing okay-ish for now. I mean, broken nose is alright. And is Tiger ready to go back? Yes, he is. So Steiner is going to take his place on the flank there with the kite shield. And Grimwall is going to go into the reserve. And Tiger with dislocated shoulder will be healed by tomorrow. Negative three action points. I think we're going to have to wait with him for until it's healed. All right, Grimwall is going to go in the middle with an axe. The tanks will definitely always keep axes on hand because we can use them to break shields. Even if they have low uh, melee skill, the shield break skill will always hit. Okay, let's check out the contracts over here then. Escort caravan to Jungholz. Definitely gonna wait and think about that even further. And what is this? Delivery to Undheim for 300 crowns. And Undheim is not that far away over here yeah I think we're gonna take it 
Let's pay a visit to the northern areas now. Let's take that contract. Also, we pay a visit to Bockhorn on the way. Alright, so we've spotted some brigands here. And, um... Will we be able to catch them? I would like to catch them and get some loot from them. But, not gonna happen. Oh! Alright, so we lost a lot of crowns immediately because our ambition got fulfilled. We had the ambition going on for buying a cart to expand our inventory space. And since we had enough money to do that, we lose 5,000 crowns and gain inventory space and our company gained renown. You can go ahead and read that if you like, but we will skip it, get moving. And now we are sitting at an inventory space of 126, up from 99. Very nice, we can now store more, more stuff to sell. I think we're probably not gonna be able to catch these brigands. Oh, we probably can. Some brigand raiders, definitely gonna try to get them. More loot is always uh, welcome. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there it is. This is probably gonna be a hillside battle with forest. No, definitely just hillside. And we are at the higher ground, just perfect. Another flail. Would like to get that off of him. And a Scramas Axe, nice. Alright, Midas can show his magic from the high ground now. And by magic, I mean miss shots. Like that. Alright, Baldomar, can you show some magic? Also of missing, very nice. <laughs> just, a, just a one hit. Alright. Ripped ear, though. Alright, Ludger. Missed. And I'm just gonna keep waiting for them to come to us. Alright. We could even just stand here, make them stand on the low ground over there. Yeah, why not? Let's just uh, go forward with Egg over here. And with Vedekind, let's stand at this high ground. And uh, Grimwald, stand over here. Alright, Sarah Khan. Again, uh, a bolt in this general direction, I think. Missed. Alright, Stalker, stand here. Ozpin, go forward. And can we hit them from this height? We can't, because they're too far, too far below us. Astral, go here with the Spear Wall. And uh, Steiner, go here. So they've switched to throwing weapons, they're gonna throw some axes at us, and they can do some damage, so we have to be careful about that. But very soon they will have to come up and face us, because we're gonna rain arrows down at them if they don't come up. Alright, let's end our round. Alright, Midas will take a couple of arrow shots and kill him off, perfect. He is facing Videkind. Little does he know just how dangerous that man is in front of him. We shall show him pretty soon. Alright, Baldomar, the hunter. Let's hunt some people. Hunt this guy over here with 38% chance to hit. Or take an aim shot for 56% chance to hit. Let's take the aim shot. Tickle him a little bit on the armor. And a Ludger. Let's come over here and take a crossbow bolt. <laughs> Missed. Alright, Buck the Wolf. Can you strike him down? Wow, look at that. Single shot to the head. Killed off the bandit immediately. Vidakin didn't even get to warm up. Alright. Then, we can already move Egg over here. Let's face these bandits. And uh, Vidakin can maybe already go ahead and engage him. Doesn't sound like a bad idea. Put him here and then Grimwald will fe uh, face him for now. And here we can move Stalker over here and take the first stab at this raider. Nice one. Ospin will stand here then. We have a nice formation going on. Nice hit by Sarahan. I think Steiner is going to wait for him to come forward. I think he won't. He won't be that stupid. Then maybe he can already go here and then stab him. Uh, with Astral, let's go here. Let's make him come to us. 
pretty doing pretty good on formation. I like it. Wow, already a morale debuff on Steiner. Okay, then uh, Midas can take an aimed shot at this raider. <laughs> Miss. Egg will wait. Alright, Baldemar. Couple of arrow shots at this guy. Very nice. And the Vidakind will go forward, attack him. Wow, he's, he's missing. Eventually, he should become so talented that he will almost never miss. But for now, we have to deal with that. Nice shots by Ospin. No, that was Grimwald. Ospin is standing over here. Alright, Ludger. Wow, nice hit. <laughs> Kill that guy off. Now, Stalker. And Steiner. Keep focusing this guy. Alright, can we move Sarakhan up here then? And that's it. I'm gonna end these people's turns. They're not really needed up here. These three will be able to take care of them easily. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a headshot over there on Grimwald. Completely destroyed his helmet. With the military pick. So military pick is a, a, is a hammer type. So it does a lot of damage to armor. All right, you can come one step down here and strike him. Nice hit. All right, egg. You can come forward, take out the hooked blade. But that will leave no action points to do a strike. All right, wait for the horse pin. can you really have to kill this guy now. Like that. Very nice. Yeah. Beautiful. And the Sarakhan will continue to come up and do a crossbow bolt. Right, so always there's one bandit that's really good with shield. This is the one in this fight. Alright, end his turn. Yeah, look at that. He's gonna continue to hold it. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Some really, really talented ra raiders we tend to find these days. And his round. Wow, completely destroyed the shield from Egg. Again. So this is the third shield that Egg has managed to break. Nice hit with the pike. Grazed neck as well. And will Stalker finish him off? Nope. Yeah. This one raider is going to take a lot of time to kill. Midas, please show us some kind of magic here. Ludger made him flee, and I think now Egg should finish him off. Perfect. Steiner leveled up, Grimwald also has leveled up, and Videkind, uh, Egg. Four level ups here, very nice. And we got some nice loot out of the bandits as well. The dented nasal helmet, padded ones, are always nice to have. Alright, let's give away the level ups first of all. Videkind will need a new helmet. Nope, that helmet is gonna get repaired. And the padded helmet can then go to the... The kettlehead is already better. This can then go to Tiger the Wild. And Tiger can also come into the fighting line pretty soon. Alright, let's level up Vidakind. Plus 4 definitely on the melee skill, uh, melee defense, and plus 3 on the melee skill. So put it up to 71 now. And wow, look at that. Plus 4 on the hit points. I am definitely going to take that level up. And for perks. Alright, this is a bit uh, difficult of a decision for me now. I'm thinking that Steel Brow might be important on him because he will be a nimble one with a, let's say, low armor. So if he gets hit on the head, uh, it will be nice to not have a critical hit to his head. But at the same time, I also am interested in Resilient to reduce the 
chances, uh, reduce the time that he would be charmed, for example, by Hexen or other kind of uh, effects on him, like poison, for example. Executioner is also nice to have on uh, on duelists, I think. Um, I, re I really don't know what would be the best skill for now. Could even just give him a recover because he might need that also in fights. Um, alright. I haven't given it much thought. We will come back to it. Maybe I would ask you to give me some hints in comments about where, what should we get on him. Or maybe I'll just come back to him now and think more about it. So, Grimwall is going to be a tank. He definitely needs some more melee defense. HP, while plus 5 is very nice because it's 3 talent. And he will need more resolve. Plus 4 on that. And Brawny or Rotation first. I think, first of all, I'm going to give him Rotation. Brawny can come second. Rotation is really important to have on tanks. They can rotate into other people's places and protect them when needed. And uh, Ag the Arsonist. Definitely more melee skill and defense and fatigue, I think. He's pretty good on HP already. And uh, now would be the time to give him Battleforged, I think, and give him better armor. So we're going to take off the armor from Stalker and give it to Egg. But I think we still need a little bit more armor before Battleforge will start to become useful. So what it does basically is that it reduces the amount of damage that goes to your armor based on how much armor you already have. So the higher armor you have, the less damage you go, to, the, the more the reduction to your armor damage. That's very nice. Although we could already give him Berserk because he is going to get that at some point. And this is again the, the point where I think we're not really ready for these perks. They're already there. Battle Forged. I think we, let's just give it to him already because we will give it to him eventually. So let's take it. He will need another shield as always. And uh, Ozpin, is he a shield expert? Yes, he's going to get the kite shield. And now the level up on Steiner is going to be a Spearman, definitely need some more melee skill, defense, and uh, resolve, because that's what we need on the flanks. And he will get a shield expert as well. Alright, for Vita Kint, I'm really uh, not completely clear on what should we get. I think Steel Brow would be very, very good. I, I think I'm going to go ahead and take it. I will not take chances with him, especially when he's nimble. Alright, let's go continue with our delivery. Bokhorn and then on to Undheim. Okay, so we have arrived at Bokhorn. They have a good harvest going on, but it's the almost dawn time. So let's go ahead and check out their marketplace as well. We might be able to find some nice cheap food. Oh, a nice cheap cloth. Definitely going to take that and sell it off apparently. And look at that. Very cheap bread available here. 34 gold. Um, definitely going to buy three stacks of those. And that's it. Should we buy these medical supplies? 204? Yeah, we, we're running low on them, so I'm going to buy one stack of them as well, and then continue on to onward to Unheim. And yeah, I would have really liked, would have really liked to have uh, saved up on those crowns, which we spent to expand our cart. So it's, uh, it's an okay-ish trade, I think. We get more capacity, but at the same time lose some crowns. I would have liked to have those crowns to buy some more armor eventually. 310 crowns for delivering the package. And uh, marketplace first. Could buy these furs for quite cheap here. Let's go ahead and do that. We will sell them off at the Varl Mark when we go back to south. What's the contract? It's a delivery contract to. Alright, where, where are you going? V's! I am interested in that eventually, and what is that? Alright, uh, so what is this? Beasts are ravaging the countryside. Get 67 crowns per head you bring back for up to 15 heads. Alright, accept that offer and hunt for direwolves, web connects, and nox errors. Hunt around the hills, region of Willowshire, Willowshire Hillside, and other regions. Return to Undheim at any time to get paid. Yeah, so we're gonna have to hunt people. Hunt these uh, beasts, which I'm not interested in because this will. This depends a lot on chance and how, ma how many enemies you find. I'm just going to take this contract of uh, deliver cargo to somebody in V's and go back south. Also, 
sell some stuff in Varlmark eventually. Alright, so we have arrived at V's. Crown's well-deserved indeed. Oh, look at that. We, we saw some Hexen over there. We might want to go against them if if we think we can. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I'm quite afraid of Hexen now. This city is raided and ambushed. It's a prospering village. We'll check out the contracts here. Alright, what is that? Lindworms are ramaging the countryside and needed strapping cell swords such as yourself to slay them all. Oh, oh, oh. And how much are they willing to pay us? 1660 when the job is done and 420 in advance. And if you ask for more, it's quite a lot of money. But I think we are really, really not capable of uh, dealing with Lindworms. I don't think we can do that. So I'm going to decline this contract straight away. Alright, what is this? Um, brigand friends are coming to exact revenge on us, so we have to protect them from raiding parties. 770 crowns when the contract is done. We will definitely think about this. 790. This is something we can definitely uh, take here. And what about the noble house contract? Band of greenskins again. Camping to the southeast of Hochberg. 790 and 39 per head. 840 and 42 per head. Accept that offer. Goto of the Wild Man southeast of Hochberg. I think we can try to take on these uh, um, green skins as well. Let me check that Hexen. Five. What was. Some brigand raiders and a Hexen. Alright, so it's probably gonna be four. Yeah, it's, it is going to be four raiders and one Hexen. Can we take that on? I don't know. I'm really scared of the fact that they might have, um, they might hex my people again. I'm going to check if we can buy some bludgeons here, wooden clubs. Uh, yeah, this is the market. No, we can't. So there's none available here. Cloth is also quite expensive. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip on that. We're going to take this contract and protect the town from raiding parties. Let's just sit around. And this time I'm not going to let this uh, wheat field get destroyed. And now we have the opportunity for an other ambition. The company lacks competent archers, limiting our tactical options. We shall train three men to master bow or crossbow and be deadly from afar. We will, we will definitely have two archers, uh, so we will definitely have two people master the bow. And I might even put one person to master the crossbow as a lancer. So this could be something we're doing. We might do eventually. And uh, we shall increase our crown further or... Yeah, I think I'm going to take this because very soon we might be putting some people to master some weapons. Or shall we go to Legendary Company now? I think I'm going to take this one first. Because this is something we will do eventually. Alright, let's wait around for the raiding parties. This is taking quite some time for the raiders to appear. And this time I'm pretty sure that I'm not missing them as we did last time. This is the second time V's have uh, trusted us with protecting their protection. And apparently it's again the undead. The dead, they're coming. Peering over him. So it's, it's somebody who is saying it. to arms. And where are they coming? It's gonna be undead, so we can already set our weapons correctly then. I think we're do doing fine, except Stalker. I think Scram SX is not that useful. We're gonna, we're gonna give him a mace or an axe. I think uh, an axe. And uh, Vidakin is fine with the falchion. Yeah, I think we're doing good. We'll be fine against these... Uh, Oh, there's also somebody with a uh, Scrammer Sax over here. Actually, Scrammer Sax is not bad against uh, Undead. We can even chop their heads off with it. But if they're armored ones, then axes are better. Oh, they're raiding over here. Oh my god, oh my god. We have to get there fast. Oh, I'm not going to let them raid it. 
Hopefully the Hexen don't join the fight. Necromancer, many Vitor Gangers, some armored Vitor Gangers. We're gonna engage them and not let them raid Vs. They were really tricky this time. They went on the southern attachment of the village and not the wheat, wheat farms up north. Well, let's wait for them to come forward. I'm gonna put Ledger on the high ground. Yeah, really just wait for them. This is gonna be easy. 15 um, Vita Gangers, we can easily take them on. One Necromancer is not going to be an issue. Alright, a couple of arrow shots at this Vita Ganger. Nice one. And Baldomar will hopefully finish him off like that and then attack this one. And Ludger will also take an arrow shot. Hopefully at the armored one because he has the crossbow. Let's attack this one with the axe. Nice hit. And uh, then it's going to be Sarakhan's turn with the crossbow. Missed. Alright, let's just wait for the next round then. They will take some time to get to us because they're undead and slow like that. Midas take a shot. Oh, let's kill this one. Alright, wait. Ledger's gonna lo reload and 59% chance to hit. Or 69. I'm gonna take the 69 one. <laughs> and <laughs> hit the other one instead, alright. All right, Baldomar, let's kill this one then. Was all right, missed both of them. Perfect. And I'm still gonna wait for them to come to us. Yeah, I'm not gonna use any, any, anything on them just yet. Sarahan, nice hit. Wow, look at that. Look at the amount of. Uh, distance he traveled and even still managed to do an attack, so the possession on the undead really gives them a lot of action points. And he's possessed again. Okay. Then Wiedekind. Nice couple of hits. And Astro. Also nice couple of hits, but he will get to attack us in the next turn, I believe. Oh my god! Three hits all connected on Astral. All of his uh, body armor is gone. A little bit of the head armor is also gone. That's uh, troublesome. Alright, nice uh, couple of shots. This possession thing is quite uh, annoying. Can be quite dangerous. I'm gonna wait with the Ludger or... If I take it out, it's gonna cost me four action points. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take it out. Won't be able to use it in this turn, but yeah. No quick hands on him yet. Oh no, this guy is possessed. He's going to be quite dangerous as well. Scramas axe, though, is less dangerous than the axe. Alright, can we finish some people off with Baldomar? Definitely going to try to finish this guy. Nice one. And uh, Stalker. Okay, and Ozpin will finish him off. Nice. Alright, Steinar. And uh, Wiedekin will probably finish this guy first with a head chop. Perfect. He can't be raised back now. That's all, that also frees up Astral. I think we are going to wait with him. Not going to move him into any more trouble just yet. And Sarakhan will finish this zombie. And Buck will attack this one. Finish him on with Egg. And Grimwald. Alright, he's gonna stand there. It's going okay so far. 
just a couple of hits on uh, Astral were a bit dangerous. So he's possessed. I'm, I'm not uh, worried about that because he doesn't have that much of an armor. I'm going to try with Midas already. Also with Ludger. Nice hit. And Buck can attack this guy with uh, who is possessed and kill him. Perfect. Vidakin will again try to finish this guy off and kill him. Kill this guy off with Egg. And Astral is still gonna stand, stand there in relative safety. Kill that guy, kill that guy, beautiful. And Steiner is gonna kill this guy, perfect. And now we're gonna start pushing, uh, pushing towards the uh, Necromancer as well. This is the archer, so on him. And Ozpin is already gonna start moving towards the Necromancer. Oh, he's got a couple of uh, armored Vita Gangers protecting him. Interesting. All right, Grimwald, finish this guy first. Nice hit. All right. Astro is going to stand there. Wow. Yeah, these possessed zombies are always quite a bit of a trouble. Nice hit. And, um... I'm going to stand around with uh, Ludger in case these, these zombies are going to rise up again. Alright, Midas, finish him, attack him. Astro's going to keep waiting over there. And finish this guy with the egg. Vedekind attack him, and Ospin will finish him off, hopefully, and he does, perfect. Oh, that was Grimwald, I keep mixing them up because both of them have, like, similar armor and also are carrying axes, so... Yeah, kill that guy and keep pushing forward. Kill him. And move forward with Stalker as well. Baldemar will kill that guy, perfect. I think we've got him now. Okay, Ludger will kill that guy but missed. I think Buck will finish him so that our other infantry can also push forward. Uh, not just yet, he just raised a couple of more zombies. Alright, Astro will finish this guy. Midas is already out of ammo. Finish him. We yeah, can finish that one. And now Egg can also start moving forward. Stalker. And go around like that. Sarakhan is going to stay. Steiner is going to move forward. As is Ozpin. We're going to try to surround them, make them split up a little bit. Like that, so that Stalker can surround them now. Finish that guy with Baldomar, perfect. Yeah, nice protection going on there. Won't be able to reach the Necromancer and hit him, but we will definitely reach him like that. Okay. Move forward with Ludger as well now. And Buck is gonna move forward one step first. Okay, Midas, take a couple of arrow shots here. Finish these zombies. Our infantry is getting bogged down because of them. All right, Grimwald, go forward. And Sarahan, come here. Kill that one. And Wiedekin can also press forward. Stalker is going to come like that. Get surrounded a little bit by both of them. But I think he should be able to hold out. He has good armor. All right, finish that. And Ozpin is going to break the shield. 
Oh, no, no fatigue left, all right. Bottom is going to keep standing here and uh, kill any zombies that respawn. <laughs> all right. Interesting stuff there by the zombie. Buck is also going to stand there. I think we don't need him. But now he's put Stalker on the high ground, so he's going to take care of that Vita Ganger pretty soon. All right, wait, wait, wait around with him. Oh, he's possessed. All right. The zombie is not playing an easy game, apparently. All right, Grimwald. Come forward here and finish this zombie. Not just yet. All right, Vita Kint. Definitely going to move forward to her. Oh, pff, come on. Got stuck in the zone of control there. And Baldemar, come over here. Hopefully no zombies uh, get raised up there. Yeah, that's pretty good. The armor held quite well against that uh, spear. Come on, there was an 80, above 80% 80 chance to hit him. And I think Osborne's going to break that shield. Buck is going to stay behind. This is now more just tedious rather than difficult. Taking care of these... Uh, this necromancer and the zombie. Zombies that he's got next to him. Yeah, I'm going to end the, end the round. Alright, he probably had no fatigue left in him. He's catching breath. Didn't really do anything in that uh, turn. All right, wait with him as well. All right, our people are getting tired now. Nice hit by uh, Ospin. All right, Ag will already go towards the Necromancer, start hitting him as well. I think we're going to start pressing forward. These zombies are not coming back to life, apparently, anytime soon. Wow, killed off the Necromancer. Nice hit by Ludger there. Let's press forward with everyone now. All right, missed that. And Grimwald is definitely going to come forward, attack him. And Vita Kind will get some taste of these zombies as well. And Maida Baldemar will finish this one off, I think. Nope. Almost dead now. And Ospin can't finish him off because he's tired and Egg will do it. And Stalker should hopefully finish that one off with a head chop finally. And Ludger has another level. He's bright, so he levels up quite fast. And Midas is also leveled up. Dark Cowl, the old wooden shield. Not that much useful in terms of loot, but definitely we protected the town. P a peaceful sword of ruin is made of the dead. Like it was their natural state. Stiffened at a permanent loss and their whole living but was... And their whole living was but a fleeting fit of an accident finally come to an end. Astral the best comes up and asks if you're alright. You're not sure, to be honest, and simply answer that it's time to go see Asgir the Younger and collect our pay. Let's do that. Hexen are still moving around. We get 790 crowns, payment for hard day's work, and... I think we're going to take a break for this episode now. We have a couple of level ups to give, which we shall do in the next episode. And this has been a nice one in terms of loot, but not so much in terms of overall action. But it's been, it's been a good one. So thank you very much for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please click thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for future content and let me know in the comments about your feelings and uh, yeah, feedback about this playthrough. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.